Hey guys, welcome to Doob's Booze Reviews. This week we're looking at Santa Teresa 1796. This is a Venezuelan rum created by the Volner family. They wanted to create a rum that embraced all the learning that had been done in creating rum for the past 200 years. This rum is aged in both column stills and pot stills and then aged separately in ex-bourbon barrels for four to 35 years. Then it is blended together and then aged even further using the Solera method. This is definitely a high class sipping rum. I am really excited to try this. Yeah, let's give it a try. Caramel and butterscotch. Caramel, butterscotch, and a touch of floral notes as well. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna explain this on a timeline. You ready? So it starts out, right off the bat, you get caramel and molasses. It's a little bit sweet. Then the heat starts to roll in and you get a little bit of that punch, but it's still really smooth and warming that's when you start to get some of those bourbon barrel flavors. You get more charred oak and maybe a little bit of tobacco as well. As it rolls through to the finish, you get more floral notes and that sugar cane aftertaste. Really nice sipping rum. Definitely enjoy it neat on the rocks in a spirit forward cocktail, whatever your preference is. I would use this in a rum old fashioned, but I would make it like an Irish old fashioned. So I would use a little bit of Benedictine in there instead of simple syrup, because that Benedictine has the complexity to match what this rum has to offer. And then the bitters would just add a nice balance and a little bit more herbiness. A good price point that you can get Santa Teresa 1796 for. If you could get a bottle under $45, you're looking at a good deal. If you could get it under 40, you're looking at a really good deal. I would definitely pick up a bottle. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hit that like button, share this video around, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. Could make a really good Kubrick, but who knows?